The way this works, the face is shoving on top. Can you see that? Yep. And you're looking to see if any lines appear on the snow itself, and you progressively weight it. And it's going to be 10 taps from the wrist, 10 from the elbow, 10 from the shoulder. Okay? the bottom here. Hasn't popped off though. And again, that's an easy share on that change in density in the snow. Well, if you so hold it up then, over a bit. Yeah, see the spark? Lots of snow crystals not decomposing. Not starting to end a lot. And then, so that's your first layer on your forefinger layer, so density change, easy, easy five, okay, and then, then just across here, and that's on that little crust, Rhyme crust in the snow pack. <laughs> so we're not getting the same pops, but they are some plainer failures. What was that, moderate? On. It's really scary when the whole. Sorry? Oh yeah, so those just those other layers we're talking about. That's quite a heavy loading dropping it on the ground though. <laughs> uh, it's really scary when the bottom of the snow pack collapses straight away. If you were this thing. Bottom. Old snow, new snow interface. Five, six. That's pretty big. Yeah, Another layer in there, but so we're getting moderate shears now, just moderate compression tests like we did in the uh, old snow, new snow interface from the storm. We're getting a moderate on that rhyme crust and an easy collapse on the new snow, old snow interface. So that there is bonding taking place. It's slowly getting stronger, but you know, obviously we're still getting some, some serious failures. How much snow there is, and how much snow can be taken can be propagated out with those storm cycles.